Could this be the next major clash in the coalition? On Wednesday morning, Israeli forces evacuated an unauthorized outpost and olive grove run by settlers in the northern West Bank. Dozens of settlers, including two Knesset members, arrived at the scene in an attempt to prevent the court-ordered demolition. Some even tied themselves to trees, including this man, who tweeted a video while harnessed to the top of a caprices tree. We will not allow the uprooting of trees in the land of Israel. It's over. No court order can do anything. To the full-fledged right-wing government, this is your test, and you are disappointing. Right-wing groups say at least 40 people were detained. The demolition, which comes two years after Israel's Supreme Court ordered the Grove cease operation, sparked outrage among right-wing members of the government, with Finance Minister Bezalel Smotrich, who also serves as a minister in the Defense Ministry, slamming the move in a letter to Prime Minister Netanyahu, calling on him to stop the evacuation. To my astonishment, Defense Minister Yoav Gallant grossly violated the coalition agreement and reversed my decision. Violation of the agreement will make it very difficult for the government and the coalition to conduct themselves properly. Shortly after, Netanyahu indeed ordered to halt the evacuation before it was completed. Meanwhile, on Tuesday, the U.S., U.K., France, Germany and Italy issued a joint statement in which they said they were deeply troubled by Sunday's cabinet decision to legalize nine outposts and advance plans for some 10,000 new settlement homes in the West Bank. And with the Palestinian mission to the U.N. preparing a Security Council resolution condemning Israel's latest move, the issue of outposts and settlements appears to be the next major test for Netanyahu's new government externally as well as internally.